The North. It can be a cold, desolate place where very little life can survive. A place that would seem forbidden to our bodies because of its temperature and its emptiness. Now here on FTD Facts, we've discovered that every place, environment, and country can even surprise us. And it teaches us that us as human beings are strong, resilient individuals who can overcome adversity in the toughest environments. And within that surprise, we find culture, community, and even the warmth of a heart even in the coldest of places. And here on FTD Facts, we are talking about a country that represents this to a T. This is the country of Finland. Afternoon everybody, my name is Dave Wapple and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about many different cultures and peoples and places from all around the world. We like to learn about many different cultures and it's fantastic. And recently we've been talking about the countries of Sweden and Poland, but many of you guys wanted us to really talk about Finland. Partially due to the fact that they are neighboring countries, but we gotta thank JamUG3, TTFT who said let's do an amazing facts about Finland next. We also had people like Aditya Sinha, Smooth Pocket, nice name by the way. And of course, one of our favorites and regular viewers, Russian Spy, who wanted us to talk about Iceland or Finland and maybe even Argentina. Who knows, maybe we'll get to those in the future. But for now, we're gonna look into the country of Finland because there are some really interesting things about this country. And also, before I get in this video, I wanna let you guys know about Grammarly.com. They are our sponsor. Be sure to check them out at the end of this video. But we'll talk about that at the end of this video because right now I wanna know, what is your favorite thing about Finland? Do you yourself live in Finland? Let us know down there. Also, if you don't don't live in Finland, you want to just proudly tell us what country you're from, let us know as well. Holla out there. I'm from Canada, so let's do it up. So Finland, first of all, is the brother to Sweden, being called the Republic of Finland officially. And officially, as of 2015, it is home to 5,487,308 people. And although that is an outdated census, in 2017, they think they maybe have about 5.5 million people living within the country. Keep in mind, census aren't done every single year. Some countries do them every five years, 10 years. But as for Finland, when it comes to its 2015 size, it makes it the 114th largest country based on population. Now with Finland, it is a a pretty lengthy looking country. Might be small and skinny, it has a land mass of 338,424 kilometers square. And with that in mind, it makes Finland the 64th largest country in the entire world. But if you were to look solely within Europe, it sits at the 8th largest. But for the population, most of them are all living in the southern regions. And living up north is a really hard thing to do. I'm from Canada, I know, we're like the same thing, we're closer to the American border. But as for its population, they have approximately 16 people per kilometer square, making it the most sparsely populated country in all of Europe. However, it is not the most sparsely populated country in the entire world, there are other countries that have less. Interesting enough, and I didn't even know this, that Finland is not really technically part of Scandinavia. As a matter of fact, unlike other European countries, if you say that, it might anger some people within the country, because it's officially part of Fenos. Scandia. And this is actually realistically different from the term Nordic. Because when we say the Nordic term, it usually incorporates countries like Greenland and Iceland, but they're not included in Fennoscandia. However, that whole peninsula that includes Sweden and of course Norway is. So Finland sits in between Sweden and of course Russia, and has had a very strong relationship with the two countries. For example, Finland for a long time was a part of Sweden, and it was also incorporated into the Russian Empire in 1809. But this is the thing, the people of Finland have never really agreed to this, they've kind of always wanted their own independence. As a matter of fact, it was famously stated by Finnish political journalist, writer and historian Adolf Ivar Arvidsson, who said perfectly, we are not Swedes, we do not want to become Russians, let us therefore be Finns. And it is widely believed that because of this man and his words, it helped create the national movement of Finland which eventually led to Finland's independence from Russia on December 6, 1917. Now one thing to know, just because you get independence doesn't mean you're totally free right off the bat. Because this independence started a war between the Red Guards of Finland and the White Guards of Finland. Now the White Guards were a voluntary force that were really for the defense of the regular people, and eventually they won the battle causing many of the Red Guards to flee to Russia. And speaking about Russia, it's also interesting to know that Finland was pretty much at war with Russia during World War II. Although Finland was never really a part of the Axis powers, Finland did indeed have a mutual agreement to fight alongside 
inside Germany after the Soviet Union attacked and invaded on November 30th, 1939. Now this was considered the Winter War and it lasted from 1939 to 1940. And although the Finns really didn't pick a side during the Second World War, they did allow Germany and their troops to pass through their lands to fight their enemies. And it should be noted that Finland itself even today is a very peaceful country, one that tries to promote very good positive vibes with its neighbors. Of course every country has its disputes with its neighbors, but overall just like Canada it seems to be a very peaceful place. So in Finland there are a few things in the country that it can claim that no other countries can. For example, its lakes. It's got a lot of them. According to official stats, Finland has 187,888 lakes. Now that is a lot, but let's be real, if you compare that to Canada and maybe even Russia, Finland might not have as many. However, Canada really hasn't done a popular calculation and is estimated to have approximately over 2 million lakes, along with Russia. But officially in documentation, Finland has the most amount of lakes than any other country in the world. Many of these lakes are over 500 meters square, and out of these lakes there's a total of 179,584 islands. And like I said, if you compare it to Russia and of course Canada, they may actually have more, maybe even the United States, but it is a good guess that based on their particular land size, they may have the most amount of lakes in a particular area. Now one thing that we should really talk about when it comes to Finland is they are very humane people, especially towards animals. As a matter of fact, did you know that in Finland, it is illegal to have your cats declawed? And of course, yes, there are other countries that do have that law, but Finland is one that really puts their foot down and says, no, you can't do that, period. And when we're talking about humane things that Finland has done, Finland is also the first country in the entire world to make internet a legal right. Now this happened in 2010, and believe it or not, the first use of internet was called Funet, which was created in 1984 and linked university networks together. However, after 1993, that's when the internet became publicly available to its citizens. And to finish it off, guys, considering we've talked so much about the land and the people and even like the accomplishments of the country, we gotta talk about one unique thing that it has that no other country has. For example, interesting enough, they are famous for the Wife Caring World Championship. Now, this happens every July in the city of Sankyare. And it's crazy, people come from all around the world. People will come from Japan, Canada, in the United States just to take part in this amazing like competition and pretty much all it is is you pick up your wife and race against other people in a 253.5 meter track now this has been happening since 1992 and you may wonder okay so well what do I get if I win well apparently if one wins you get your wife's weight in beer god that's great but you are just gonna get a belly man Mm. So what do you think about Finland? A pretty interesting country and of course we will discover much more in our upcoming videos. And if you're from this country, please let us know more facts about your country because we want to know some facts from the people who are actually living there. So be sure to let us know down there or you can email us at askftdfacts at gmail.com. But thanks for watching guys, my name is Dave Walpole and before you guys get out of here, check out Grammarly.com. If you guys want to improve on your grammar and English skills, especially when using the internet, this is the tool for you. Trust me guys, I use it every single day. It's totally free unless you want to pay for it. But either way, whatever you guys want to do, it really helps us get new videos out to you guys. Oh yeah, and before you guys get out of here, just letting you know that we upload every single day, Monday to Friday, so be sure to check us out. But this is Finland, just a really interesting country that is different from most places around the world. A country that not only has peaceful people within it, but people who are just striving to make themselves better every single day. It is a country and nation that has contributed much to the world, and even with its contribution, it still remains to be a peaceful nation with great intentions. watching guys this has been FTD facts the channel where we talk about people cultures and places from all around the world if you like this video maybe you want to check out a video on Sweden or Poland you know they're pretty fascinating places and if you're from Finland hey they're your neighbors and of course if you want to learn about other random countries from around the world check out our country playlist because it's just amazing to learn about new people and cultures from all around the world you never know what you're gonna learn but be sure to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time check us out every single Monday to Friday and don't forget to leave a comment Comment down there for a future FTD Facts video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.